All right, Aquarius, welcome back to your extended reading. I am, of course, Rachel Navy, a.k.a. Velagio Strega, uh, here to deliver the messages. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. will not resonate for everyone, so keep what does and leave the rest. This is your extended reading because you guys are second runner-up for the most views in the month of June for the monthly meet readings here. So I'm doing these little bonuses uh, for the top five most viewed readings for that month. That said, this is what you need to know or what you what you need, what you need to know are your hidden influences in the situation and what you want. I'm going to follow that up with another three card sped, spread of your challenge, your advice, and your potential outcome. And of course, pull a goddess card here for you guys. So let's take a look for Aquarius on the collective. First one out, I've got the hanged man energy for what you need. What you need to know or your hidden influences is the Four of Swords. One more, please. Very, very similar uh, to Sagittarius's energy here, Aquarius. So let me just put this camera angle down and I will read uh, from here. Here's what you need. You need to recognize you're going through a spiritual awakening here, Aquarius. Let me just adjust this mic here a minute too. This is hanged man energy. Hanged man energy is all about no forward movement at this time. Why? Because the divine has tied your hands behind your back and they says, no, you can't do anything about this situation. I need you uh, there, Aquarius, to change your perception on something, to be illuminated on something, right? Why? Because there's definitely a need for you to take a break. There's a need for you to have some sort of rest. This is four of swords energy. This is the hidden influences. You're in a timeout, dear Aquarius, because something's going on that you're not aware of. You may have a hunch about it, but right now a little recuperation is going to do you some good, Aquarius. So take the advice and, and have it, give yourself a little good night's sleep. Uh, some, something's going on here for you guys that's going to change your world for sure. Uh, indeed, what you want, you want to be able to use your intuition and see what's really going on in the situation. I feel like there's a secret here for you guys, like somebody's keeping a secret from you. And you're like, I know something's going on, I know something's going on. That's why you're getting this moon card energy. Could be dealing with Pisces, right? Hangman too. Uh, you could be, you're definitely going through some sort of transformation though. You know something's up. And whether it's something in regards to something you're hopeful for versus something you're afraid of, this moon card energy means something's going to be illuminated for you very, very shortly here, very soon in this situation. Okay, I'm going to take an angel card here, for, or excuse me, a goddess card here for you, Aquarius, to summarize this reading and see what else we need to know about this particular situation for you guys on the collective here. There it is. Kali. Endings and beginnings. So clearly something is about to change. Some sort of cycle is absolutely about to change in your life here. Uh, the old must be released so that a new can enter. Dear, uh, dear uh, Aquarius here. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So you're not allowed at this time any forward movement on a situation. Because something's about to be revealed to you. Some, so you need some rest on a situation. I got a feeling this may be something in regards to your health for some of you Aquariuses. Like maybe you're dealing with a health issue. Uh, or maybe you're dealing with a loved one's health issue. Uh, but you're definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening. So that said, now let's look at the challenges, the advice, and the potential outcome uh, for the remainder of the month. Or, or for this time period. For July, for Aquarius on the Collective. There we go. What's their challenges? What's the challenge for Aquarius on the collective? First one out is temperance. Yeah, we're seeing the same, same energy repeat itself. Next one out is the fool. Definitely. Okay, that's your advice. Potential outcome, please. Got three cards here for you. I've got the four of wands, king of swords, and king of coins. Damn, Aquarius. My goodness. Okay, let's talk about the challenge. You need to have patience, right? That's why you need that timeout. That's that's why the hangman energy was there. 
uh, for what you what you need. You need to have patience in a situation. Do things in moderation, dear Aquarius. This is what this is indicating. If for some reason this temperance is representing alcoholism to someone, uh, again, this is that time out they need, that recuperation time. That, that attention to the health keeps coming coming to me with your reading. There's an attention to detail of health I really feel like is going on here. Uh, why? Because something new is about to bless your life. Uh, you got to have faith in a situation. So we're being asked to, to simmer down and and just kind of uh, take your time with something because there's nothing you can really do at this time anyways because something new and beautiful is about to begin for you. This is very exciting news with the Fool card energy. It's about having faith, maybe walking blindly into a situation, but it, but the beautiful part about it is, is something, something's ending so that way something new and wonderful can begin for you. Aquarius, something something that indicates that, you know, spirits got you back in this situation or that the only way you can move through this process or this new beginning, Aquarius, is to have faith uh, in a higher power. Your potential outcome, this four of wands, right, that celebration and anticipation of change. Maybe there's some marriage going on. Maybe there's something else. Uh, here, like I said, I'm really feeling health for some of you, uh, but this is a beautiful, again, new beginning, or it's at least the energy of, I believe in a new beginning, right? I believe in this new change, this new exciting thing happening in my life. There may be some planning involved, right? There may be a need for, for communication, better communication going on with this King of Swords energy here. Uh, he's about planning. He's about timing. He is a, no stranger to war, of course, so he's ready to take action on something. That's for sure, but he's a transformative energy nonetheless, despite his barbarian, barbaricness here from time to time. Uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. He sits very silently because he's very keen. He's very insightful. He's very observant in his situation here, Aquarius. And I feel like that's something that you too need to need to take on the energy of, of course, during this period of time is you're asked to be an observer, a silent observer in this situation. And there is definitely some money coming in for you all, some sort of financial stability, security, uh, safe, solid foundation, perhaps it's perpetuating in the family. Uh, again, if you're dealing with a loved one's health issues, um, you know, I'd be sorry for your loss if there's a loss involved or if there's been a recent loss, in, loss involved. But Aquarius, you may be inheriting a home. You may be, be um, receiving some sort of benefit. Uh, if it's not that, if it's not a loved one passed in a situation as well here, uh, this could be inheriting a home with like wisdom attached to it uh, from an elder or some, some sort of uh, end of a financial struggle for sure uh, is definitely what I'm picking up in that card's energy. So there you have it, my dear Aquarius. <laughs> Boy challenging times but again be patient and uh, be hopeful and believe in that possibility for something new and wonderful to come your way so blessed be y'all take care